Fitting a bike is the process of adjusting the saddle and handlebar position to suit you as an individual rider. There are various schools of thought when it comes to bike fit and getting it dialed in with 100% precision is a job for a trained professional. That said, if you're in a hurry or on a budget, this video will get you out on the road. At this point, it's worth noting that an overly aggressive riding position can not only hurt your back, but it will also reduce your pedaling performance. Forget about looking like a pro and make your bike fit you. Before you start, you should be wearing your cycling shorts and shoes. If you haven't already fitted cleats to your shoes, then click above or look for the link in the video description. The first thing to set is your saddle height. If your bike is new, set the saddle to a round hip height and tighten the clamp mounting bolts. The saddle should be in a horizontal position before you start and can be adjusted by undoing the seat post clamp. Most have one or two bolts that hold the saddle in place. With a saddle position that is too low, you'll notice your knees will bow and point out, whereas if it's too high, your hips will rock on the saddle as you try to overextend your leg to reach the pedal at the bottom of the stroke. Get on the bike in a riding position. And unclip one foot before placing your heel on the pedal. You can now adjust the saddle height so each leg is fully extended when the crank is in the six o'clock position. When your heel contacts your pedal with a straight leg, clipping into the pedals should give around a 35 degree bend in your knee, which is ideal. When you're happy with the saddle height, clip in and give the bike a pedal. If you're not using a turbo trainer, then you can just pedal backwards. After spinning the pedals, you should have found your natural seating position and will now be ready to make saddle position adjustments. Your aim is to align the front of the knee over the pedal axle. There is research indicating that a knee over pedal spindle setup isn't the most effective, but it's perfectly adequate for a basic setup. Pedal for around 10 seconds to find your natural position. Then put the pedals in a horizontal position, using a plumb line or piece of string with a weight tied to the end. You can now gauge the saddle position. Place the plumb line roughly behind the kneecap. It will drop somewhere near the pedal. You should now be able to see how much forward or backwards movement is needed from the saddle on the rails. If you're doing this on your own, it might help to mark out your knee position using some tape applied to the top tube. You can then dismount and drop the plumb line from the tape. Once your saddle position is set, you need to move on to the bars. Start by ensuring the tops of the bars are horizontal by undoing the bolts on the faceplate of the stem and rotating the bars. When level, re-tighten to the correct torques, moving diagonally between the bolts. Most riders should aim to put their back at around a 45 degree angle to horizontal when positioned on the hoods, with your arms coming off that plane by 90 degrees, so effectively also 45 degrees to horizontal. A mirror or camera with self-timer may help if you're setting up the bike alone. In the most basic terms, increasing the stack height will make you more upright. Decreasing it will make you more aggressive and aerodynamic. You should ride with a 45 degree upper arm angle when your elbows are slightly bent. If you're a long way off, then you might need to swap your stem for a longer or shorter model. And at this point, it's definitely worth taking the professional advice from your local bike shop. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. Let us know what you want more of on your bike radar in the comment section below.